Now we'll connect compromised membrane power, potassium, liver function, digestion, and lipid toxins into a causal loop that drives many symptoms and many diseases. We call this very common pattern the catabolic loop. It's a very strong, self-reinforcing metabolic lock pattern, which is one tough nut to crack. The catabolic loop involves three different systems, cell membrane, the liver, and digestive system. Membrane electrical power, which drives oxymutation, is the kingpin in this loop. As the loop matures, escalating problems with liver and lipid absorption produce a self-hardening cycle, and the longer it lasts, the harder it is to break. Oxymutation creates cellular potassium by quantum fusion of sodium and oxygen. The reaction releases heat and anabolic healing energy. Later, cells pump out the potassium as waste. The potassium travels to the liver, mostly in lymph. The liver mixes potassium hydroxide with recycled fat into soap, known as bile. The bile is then released to digest fat and absorb fat-soluble nutrients, which are all needed to rebuild high-quality cell membranes. In case you weren't listening, we just added a missing link to cellular chemistry and described the paradoxical source of cellular potassium. We also just told you one reason why our bodies are able to continuously put out more than twice as much energy as we take in. There are multiple fusion reactions that produce calcium and many other minerals going on all the time in your body. So if you want to see a cold fusion reactor, just look in a mirror. Thank you, Professor Pappas and Dr. Kervron. Cellular health is often measured by adequate cellular potassium levels because cellular potassium levels telltale anabolic energy production or oxymutation. Anabolic function, in turn, reflects healing capacity and cellular vitality. This finally explains the correlation between health, cell membrane integrity measured by phase angle, and cellular potassium levels. Anabolic energy is an early victim of membrane power loss because weak membrane electricity cannot drive oxymutation, and the cell loses another important power supply. When compromised membrane power from reduced membrane integrity shuts down oxymutation, cellular heat production declines, resulting in cold hands and feet. Long-term oxymutation failure causes cellular potassium deficiency. Long-term cellular potassium deficiency causes systemic potassium deficiency. Systemic potassium deficiency prevents the liver from fully dissolving recycled fats because of an absence of alkali mineral. So instead of a highly alkali bile rich in potassium hydroxide, you get a weak bile, the consistency of fatty sludge. Over time, the sludge gels into liver and gallstones, which further inhibit bile release by physically clogging the bile path and reducing bile storage in the gallbladder. After this goes on for a while, you end up with a real mess. The combined poor bile quality, limited storage and flow, result in malabsorption of fat and fat-soluble nutrients because of poor solvent quality and quantity. Also, clogged bile release means that the liver is continually bathed in sludge, contributing to toxicity and compromised liver performance, and usually liver disease like cirrhosis or fatty liver. Chronic liver toxicity also sets the stage for the several forms of hepatitis. Malabsorption of lipids leads to lipid nutrient deficiencies and degrades cell membrane quality because of an absence of good building material. This absence of building material contributes to the declining dielectric quality, which further compromises oxymutation, which further reduces cellular potassium production, and so on. We just closed the loop. We found the one thing that causes another, and another which causes the one thing. This is the catabolic disease lock. Cell membrane power is the kingpin of the loop where cellular then systemic potassium deficiency drive liver dysfunction, which decreases cell membrane quality, which drives the decrease in cell membrane power. The stage is now set for lifelong health deterioration where time merely measures the interval between medical appointments.